what really happens when a man gives himself to listening to ungodly music. One of the things I want to establish today is that music is very spiritual and music carries spirits. So if we are not careful, we may be accommodating some spiritual realities that we don't really want. Music is very powerful because through sounds, the anointing can flow. And through sounds, negative essence can also flow. Now I'm going to explain. Before I continue, please like this video so this video can spread to a greater number of people on this platform. Thank you very much. The Bible said something that shocked me in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 23. It says, And it came to pass, when the evil spirit was upon Saul, David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. So we are seeing the power of anointed music here. The Bible said David played with his hands. And the next thing we saw was that the Bible says the evil spirit in Saul left him because an anointed man played. If you look at what the Bible said there, it said David played with his hand. So you need to understand this. Spirits, they move on the wave of sounds. For example, a train needs a rail to move. It's the same way spirits need sounds to move. So whenever there is sound, there are motions of spirit beings. So that is why you see that there are some songs, you listen to it automatically. The spirit of supplication, which is called the spirit of prayer, becomes activated. And you see that you hear those kind of sounds and all of a sudden you are feeling like praying. You may be feeling dry, but all of a sudden you are just there. Prayer energy just comes upon you. It means that the spirit moving on that sound is called the spirit of what? Grace and supplication. The spirit of prayer. Are we together now? It is the same way you can listen to a song now and you can begin to have lust of the flesh desiring what you did not desire before and you'll be you're wondering how did this come it is because you expose yourself to a sound that an ungodly spirit rode upon are we together now you know even the old time prophets they really understood this the bible said in second kings chapter 3 elisha wanted to prophesy and elisha said he said but bring me a mystery and it came to pass when the mystery played that the hand of the lord came upon elisha so are you seeing what is actually happening the Bible says Elisha wanted to prophesy. But at that point, you know, if you read the previous verse, Elisha was angry. So he needed to calm himself down. The Bible said the man played. The anointed man played. He did not just say, bring me anybody to play. He did not just say, bring me. You see, it is not the equipment that is anointed. It is the person playing it that determines the flow. Are we together now? So a song is as important as the person singing it. An instrument is as important as the person playing it. This is why you see that you, you, we can have two instrumentalists now and one plays and we see an outburst of the move of the spirit. Somebody comes, plays the same thing, the same progression, but there is no move of the spirit. It is because the instrument is as important as the person playing. That is why the previous scripture we read, the Bible emphasized that David played with his hand. Meaning nobody played for David. He played by himself. Now, this is not to judge or to spite anybody. We don't do that. But what I'm trying to tell you is that we need to improve ourselves more in the secret place. We need to give ourselves more to the things of the Spirit. So that anything we lay our hands to do, anything we do, we carry that same essence. We carry the signature of God's presence upon it. Are we together now? Bring me a mystery. The Bible says, as the mystery played, it says the hand of the Lord came upon him. So are we seeing the hand of the Lord? So it means God rode on that sound. So we must be careful the kind of sounds we give ourselves to. So if a man can play and the hand of the Lord came upon the prophet, it means a man can play and the spirit of lust and you know some kind of immoral behavior can come upon somebody by the kind of atmosphere that person exposes himself to. Look at what the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. The Bible says. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So are you seeing what the Bible is saying? It says, the day the Lord shall come. Something shall come before the coming of the Lord. It says, 
the Lord shall come with the sound of an archangel. So it means that so it means that the archangel is sounding. And guess what? The spirit of the Lord is moving upon that sound. Are you seeing? Spirit moves with sound. So I can be here now saying, be healed in the name of Jesus. You see the sound that comes out from my mouth? The spirit of healing will now ride upon the sound because, like I said, the train cannot move without the rails. So the, the spirit moves with that sound. And guess what? As the spirit moves with that sound, people are getting healed in church. So you see that sick people, they can come to church and go back home the way they came if the pastor does not lift up his voice to pray for the sick. Eh, can they get healed by themselves? Of course, expectation and desire of the sick person can pull healing. But most times we see it, that it is after the prayers begin to see massive testimonies. So that is why God told us that we should be careful of the words that comes out from our mouth. Because spirits do not know if you are joking. They don't know if you mean those words or not. The Bible says, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Are we together now? They don't know. Spirits don't know if you are joking. If you understand this, you will not joke with words. Because for any word that comes out from your mouth, you are giving expression to spirit entities. Are we together now? So if you wake up every morning saying, I am rich. I prosper in my daily work. I prosper in all I do. You will notice that the spirit of prosperity will begin to ride on that word. To make sure that you go to work, everything you are doing, you are just having unusual results. Singing, you listening to ungodly music, ungodly songs that project lust of the flesh, project, you know, a lot of vices. You, you stay under that kind of atmosphere and you're wondering, why, why is my dream becoming perverted? Why is this happening? Why am I having these kind of dreams consistently of, you know, immoral, you know, contents in the dream and, and this and that? Then you need to check what kind of atmosphere have I been exposing myself to? Most times there is not, nothing wrong with you. It is because you expose yourself to a kind of atmosphere. You give yourself to songs that, that, that the spirit of immorality wrote upon. And, you know, you permitted those expressions into your environment. So you go to bed, you are seeing it. You notice some kind of things that you were not desiring before. Now you are desiring them. It is not actually your fault. It is because of what you gave yourself to. So you need to now change what you are going to give yourself to. And I tell you the truth, you are going to see massive change in your life. Uh, Prophet Samuel told Saul, he says, you are going to see a company of prophets and they shall come with musical instruments. The Bible says, and they shall prophesy. So they were playing the musical instruments and guess what? The prophetic came upon them. The name of Jesus mentioned in the song does not make a song a gospel song. You know, I don't say this to spite anybody. I don't, you get what I'm saying? God mentioned in a song does not give the song spiritual essence because the person ministering is as important as the song released. So for example, Somebody has given himself to, you know, godly songs, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, listen to it, dance to it, you know, uh, permitted the songs into his atmosphere. And on Sunday, this person comes to church to lead praise and worship. And people are wondering why they are leaving the church with lust of the flesh. Come on, I thought I, I went to church to, you know, to be clean, to, to become stronger. But why is it that people are leaving the church now and they are increasing more in lust of the flesh? It is because they drank from the stream that had lost mixed with it. So the person ministering now has given himself to so much, you know, ungodly music. He comes to minister, mentioning God in the song, mentioning and people are worshiping the Lord, not knowing that the person is also releasing, you know, some kind of essence also. And people leave the church and they are wondering, what kind of lust is this? I thank God that God has blessed us with, with seasoned ministers. Men like Minister Teofilo Sunday, men like Evangelist Lawrence Oyo. You know, we have great ministers. Ministers, um, Minister Dunsio Yenko, Minister Nathaniel Basi, Judy Keji, you see. We have great men of God. You know, you listen to their songs and you are filled with the Spirit. You see, these men have given themselves so much to the secret place that they are blessing our lives. This is me encouraging you. It is time to begin to filter the kind of things we allow into our environment and our atmosphere. Sounds are so powerful. You can sleep, sleep off while your phone was playing a worship song and you, you just enter into an encounter. You enter into a dream where you, a lot of spiritual blessings are being poured upon you. You see what I'm talking about? These things are very spiritual and we need to take notes. Please leave a comment below. Tell us what part actually stood out for you on this video. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you very much. God bless you.